Hello and welcome to Biology Addict. This is the Campbell Biology Series. Chapter 1, Evolution, Themes of Biology, and Scientific Inquiry. We're starting off with Concept 1.1. The study of life reveals unifying themes. These themes are organization, information, energy and matter, interactions, and evolution. The first theme is organization. New properties emerge as successful levels of biological organization. The hierarchy of life unfolds as follows. Biosphere, ecosystem, community, population, organism, organ system, organ, tissue, cell, organelle, molecule, and finally, atom. In each of these levels, new properties appear. These are called emergent properties. Systems biology is a field where the behavior of biological systems is modeled. The second theme is information. Life's processes involve the expression and transmission of genetic information. Genetic information is a part of all life because it is encoded in the nucleotide sequences of DNA. Genomics is a large-scale analysis of the DNA sequences of species, as well as the comparison between different species. The second theme is energy and matter. Life requires the transfer and transformation of energy and matter. Energy always flows through, through an ecosystem. A producer is an organism that can make its own food. They convert light energy into chemical energy. A consumer cannot make its own food and eats other organisms for energy. The fourth theme is interactions. From molecules to ecosystems, interactions are important in biological systems. Organisms are always interacting with physical factors. For example, plants take nutrients from the soil, chemicals from the air, and energy from the sun. Concept 1.2 is about evolution. The core theme, evolution accounts for the unity and diversity of life. Evolution is the process that transforms life on Earth. It explains evolutionary adaptation. Natural selection, an idea developed by Charles Darwin, is the process where organisms with more favorable traits that help them survive are more likely to reproduce. Next is concept 1.3. Scientific inquiry is when scientists make observations and develop them into a testable hypothesis. A controlled experiment is used to test the hypothesis. The last concept is 1.4. Science benefits from a cooperative approach and diverse viewpoints. There are three main points to this concept. The first point is that the work of each scientist builds on previous scientists' work. The second point. Biologists approach questions at different levels. The last point is that diversity among scientists promotes progress in science. And that's the end of the first chapter. If you have any questions, comment them and I will try to answer all of them. You can also refer to the Campbell Biology textbook.